that time. And I am back. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. And this was a suggestion from my last stream. I just beat the Adventures of Lolo. So, uh, how you Hi. doing? You want to pop in? Uh, so we got uh, we got Tony here. Uh, James might be coming by. He's talking to someone. Oh, cool. Um, we're streaming. Oh, we're already live. Hey, Pilot Wings. Yes, we are live. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, have you ever played Pilot Wings? Was there a 64 version? There was. I probably played the 64, the 64 version. version. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think James likes the 64 version uh, better. Yeah, I definitely heard of Pilot Wings though. Yeah, this is um, you know, it's. The um the other one's more like 3D the yeah. one for, for 64 and I think there was a pile of wings on like 3DS or something. Okay. But uh, this is the original and oh that's kind of cool like that fake perspective. Yes. I like that. All right, people are popping in now. Hello. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll show you this. I'll have you play around or something. So there's different um, things you can do. There's air, you know airplane. Uh, there's rocket pack. There's skydiving. Oh, they add ones like as you as you progress. Oh, cool. so right now it's just the plane and skydiving. So you like that perspective? Yeah. So I'll have you do the uh, skydiving. Yeah, you can, you can give it give it a shot. All right. You might want to look at the controls because uh, it, so maneuver is yeah. a score. What's scoring? Score scoring is like um, what he, I think. What I guess you can see your score. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. I didn't know if I was a skydiving driver. I've never skydived. Uh, yeah. I have friends who skydive. Oh, man. No, I thought you, I thought, doesn't Joker fans um, <laughs> skydive a lot? No, the Joker does this. By the way, I don't think you skydive, like, I don't think you hold on to a ladder and let a helicopter lift you up. Oh, Joker fan just sits around uh, yeah. his house playing video games. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, that's, wait, that's actually really cool. Flipping. It is, it is cool. This is a great game. This was one of my favorite Super Nintendo games as a kid. I definitely recommend it. No, no, no. Oh. You, you get his head to go towards the circles. Okay. And then at, at one point, it's gonna, it's, at one point it's going to say rate of descent or whatever. That's when you hit the A button and then it's Oh, the okay. Parachute. All right. I like screwed up. Right about now. And then you can kind of circle it and obviously try to land the target. Getting on that thing is like extra points, but it's really hard. So I would just go for the main target. How do you? You kind of like pull back. You'll get used to it. Oh, okay. Or you can spin around. This is kind of like a precursor to like uh, Grand Theft Auto or Just Cause, where there's mission, there's like mini missions where you can fly through circles. Try, try not to hit the ground too hard. You kind of like let just let everything go to kind of drift, and then you push back to go down harder. Uh, 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 oh. So uh, you, you were close you. though. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, this reminds me of a lot of like modern day games where you have to like fly through rings. I think the Arkham games you have to do that too. Yeah. So I'm gonna have you try one more time, and okay. you can. Uh, See if you can do it. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, they're saying use the password 108048. Is that for the helicopter? I might want to do the helicopter before we end the stream. I'll probably end it with that. By the way, what was Joker's plan in that movie? I, I never got that. Uh, Brutal But Clean wants to know hey, Mike, is that Joker fan with you? Kind of looks like him. Oh, well, you're not Joker well, fan. I'm not Joker fan. I, I know Joker fan. Yeah. Uh, and, you, and you do look a little like him, though. Well, it's because we're cousins. You are? Apparently, every person on my channel is a cousin of me. That's, that's, <laughs> that's so weird. I know. I have a lot of weird... Hi, I'm Tony. <laughs> I have a lot of weird cousins that look exactly like me. It's, it's that's, bizarre. That's crazy. <laughs> like, a, like a bunch, huh? Your like, family had like all I know, of, I know. Yeah, it's the big yeah, Italian all family. <laughs> Yeah, I never got the Joker's plan in that Batman movie. He's like, I need to go all the way up to the top of a decrepit castle or church, and then get on a helicopter, get on a ladder to a helicopter. It's like, why did the helicopter just land on the street? Well, he was just trying to escape somehow. I think he just wanted to get to the top because he knew with the helicopter, he needed time to get to the helicopter because he knew the helicopter was going to take a while. I guess yeah. So he was just trying to escape because Batman shot his fucking plane. Down. You know, you know what the real reason is? What's that? There was because a, movie? No, there was a writer strike. And, oh, God. Uh -oh. All right, I think we're going to get it right on the second time, <laughs> the third time. Because uh, there was a writer strike, and they had no idea how to end the movie. And there's a behind-the-scenes thing where, like, Jack Nicholson asked Tim Burton, why am I going up the, the church? And Tim Burton was like, we'll find out when you get up there. Because <laughs> they, like, they had one draft of the script, and then they, they had to just get random people to write it from I there. didn't know, so this is true. That's why at the end of the movie, like, Batman's kind of normal throughout that movie, and at the end of the movie, he's just machine-gunning people yeah. because they just gave it to whoever. 
And it was, I, I think it worked though. Yeah, and it was the '80s, so the ending yeah. of every '80s action movie was, oh yeah, the bad guy, the good guy, just shoots him. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and uh, uh, I drop a little more. Almost a t- turn to the right, turn to the yeah, right. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. I think you're gonna land it. There you go. Oh, all right. Something. All right, here we go. All Back right. To you. So the plane, the plane is a little harder. We got okay. You got 30 points out of 100, but that was yeah. better. You got 20 last better. time. So he's never played the game before. Yeah. So. This is a lot better than if I were to actually skydive. Yeah. Or I would just be screaming the whole time. Would you ever skydive? No. How? How? Well, how Are, much money would it take? Uh, oh, someone's paying me. Yeah. Oh man. I'm real cheap. Anything over a thousand, I'll be like, <laughs> yeah, sure, give me in that plane. I'll give you one thousand and one dollar to jump out of a plane. <laughs> no parachute though. What I would do is a shark cage. I want to do a shark cage so bad. I'm going to see if I can do this. I think no. I need 90 points, so I have to do really, really well. OK. Uh, Death Metal Jim says, I want to go skydiving while playing Game Boy. <laughs> what game would you play, though? You know what? You could probably do that. There are people who do weird sh- uh, stuff by like skydiving. So I get some challenge here, because I think I need 90 points, so I, ne- I nearly have to do perfectly. Oh. And I have not practiced this, so <laughs> if I don't get all these and basically land it, I am. Yeah, done. this is actually pretty decent for like a Super Nintendo, like the fake 3D. I really like it. It's it's a really good game, actually. It's one of my favorites. And a lot of people like overlook it. And I think it's because it's it's a little bit more like chill than most of the yeah, SNES yeah. games. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> I think you got everything. Look, look at how I'm like perfectly. <laughs> This is how I play Tony. Oh, okay. Everything's always... Oh, but this is landing's just okay. Yeah, it's just okay. I think that was pretty damn good. Look at his face! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, so I think we made it. Did we make it? Look at his face, he's happy. <laughs> thank you for your Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If, we, if I didn't have your 30 points, I wouldn't have made it. I know. <laughs> Mike, your next dream has to be at 30,000 feet. There's something on the wing! On the wing! Think, you know what's I can't do the shadow version, I can do the Jim Carrey pretending to that be That sounded version. more like the Jim Carrey. That was uh, Ace Ventura? Ace Ventura 2, yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you ever see when, um, you ever watch The Rock from the Sun with John Lithgow? Yes. Did bit. you see the, the one episode where, because William Shatner was the big giant head's human yes, form? Yeah. And there's that episode where there's, he's like, how was your flight? And William Shatner's like, oh my god, there was something on my wing. And John Lithgow's like, the same thing happened to me! Yeah. Oh, because he, he's <laughs> in the they, other one. They were both in yeah. the same version. I remember that, yeah. I watched that, I taped that off as of eBay, actually. Oh my god. That... I, there was a point when I just taped everything. I was so into Star Trek, I just taped everything with William Shatner on TV. Oh my god. Um, and then I realized he's in way too many things. And yeah. I can't keep up. <laughs> All right, so uh, you done rocket belt. I want to show you the rocket belt because yeah. it's, it's really cool. Um, we almost have uh, like cool jetpack technology. I just saw this video of this guy where he has like turbines on his hands and arms and a backpack, and he actually flies yeah, pretty I fast. Yeah, I saw that like on YouTube or something. Yeah, no, it's probably heavily edited. It's probably one of those things where he can only fly for like three minutes, yeah. and he's got to put it down. They cut it, they cut it into a bunch. Yeah, of- but I'm like, wow, we're almost there. Did you ever see the thing where the guy straps? Uh, he's got this like long, long, long thing on his back, and then they strap like, uh, like two hundred like it, um, soda, all... soda things. Oh and then no! They, oh yeah, they I did pop see that. Soda thing, and he kind of like lifts off the ground yeah. for like a split second. <laughs> I want to do one of those water jetpacks where it's like a thing on the water and it blasts the water. Yeah. And like you're on like a like a harness. It looks so cool. So okay, in this, yeah. you there's two different perspectives. Okay. And I think you uh, I can actually look maneuvers. Um, yeah. So you flip through them with uh, L and R. Oh, okay. So one is like you're looking straight forward like we are right now. Yeah. And the other one is like overhead perspective. Okay. You're going to need to use them both to do this, probably. Okay. Um, so basically switch me. And then, so what's going to happen? There's going to be like balloons in the air and stuff. They're going to want you to go to the balloon, touch them, and then you probably have to touch several balloons and then land. Okay. So that's basically what you're doing. So here you go. <laughs> Let's try it. Um, let me just that again. And this is my favorite part is so, the rocket pack. It's, I think it's the most fun thing. Okay. Mike needs, oh. to, Mike needs to answer what, Cat Crasher? How you doing, Cat Crasher? How do I go forward? You you push the uh, push push your things in the other direction, like that. Ah, okay. uh, deep. That's backwards. Ah, the other direction. <laughs> That's okay. If you hit the ground, you lose two points. If you go really high up in the sky and you just drop, you'll blow up. Okay, okay. I'm kind of getting that. There's a learning curve. That that that's the way you go forward, like that. 
Uh, uh, and blue is more powerful than the red. There we go. There you go, that's one. And the next one's like out there. Imagine this game in VR. That would be that would awesome, be. actually. This I've actually, um, where's the other one? Uh, you, if you drop down a little bit, you'll see there'll be green things. I'll try to point it out if I see it. That, see you, did that, you did that one. Uh, like, try to turn. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not either. Uh, there, right there. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, oh, Crack Crasher says, as Mike over at Games Done Quick. I meant uh, too many games. I don't know, do you know anything about Games Done Quick? I think it's just a, um, I don't know, I think it's just a convention or whatever where they just speed run games. Yeah, but no, I mean, I know that much now because uh, people mention it to me sometimes, but I don't know like where it's done or like, I no or, idea. like what the deal is or if they do it. I don't know, I don't know yeah. anything. McClaskey says, all I ever want to do is touch balloons. Come on, go. <laughs> there we go, all right. This flying is as Back graceful. Right there, right there. Right. This flying is as graceful as uh, Sean Connery. In uh, what movie was that where he had the uh, Last Crusade when he was flying? No, the no, 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 no. Or James Bond. Uh, it's one they actually like remade years later. Thunderball, I think, is when oh, he had okay. a rocket pack. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Was it Thunderball? Yeah. I don't. I don't know if it was that movie, but well, whatever it was. Years later, there was like an unofficial James Bond movie with Sean Connery where yeah. it was like they remade that book and made it like not suck. I think you called it Never Say Never Again. There was one that had Mr. Bean in it. <laughs> um, the actor. Yeah. Uh, so if you hit the uh, the, the, side, the L O D R, you can do that. When you get over to the target, you might want to do that. Maybe not right now. Oh, okay. But so it's, it's there. Never Say Never Again. Yeah, that was the remake. I just forget what the original. I think the original one's Thunderbolt. Oh, Games Done Quick is in Minnesota. Uh, no wonder I've never. I've never been to Minnesota, and it's not near us. Minnesota. Uh, Jesse Ventura was the governor there. <laughs> he was the first person from the movie Predator to be a governor. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. You probably took a little too long, but and your because your fuel is like pretty low. <laughs> but other than that, let's see what she says. But the, yeah, okay, well, that's doable. That's doable. Look, better than what you did before. You know what? I doubt a game from the '90s do rocket packs well. Okay, we still haven't figured the technology out. Well, we were supposed to have flying cars in 2000. Yeah, I know, right? Where's that? <laughs> we The only thing we really came forward with was cell phones. I know. You know? All right. 160 to qualify, so I could maybe do this. You know what? I'm okay with no flying cars. Have you seen how bad some people drive? Imagine them flying. You know what I have to say about flying cars? Okay, let's imagine right now that, there, that there's actually flying cars. And you can go outside, your carpet goes up in the air, just like airplanes, really. Yeah. And because we already have airplanes. Yeah. You know, like, there would be, there would have to be laws. Or, yeah. or else people would be crashing into things all over the time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, cars would be falling out of the sky yeah. if there was an accident. Yeah. Or, um, you know, cars colliding into each other and all this stuff. So if it was really a thing, um, there would have to be all these laws, yeah. and it, I think it would be the exact same thing as we have on the ground, because yeah. you'd have to go in a line. Yeah. I got into a car accident a few months ago, some guy decided, I'm going to run the red. Imagine if I was flying. <laughs> and imagine if there was a car accident, yeah. and the car flies out of the sky and hits the ground, like that could be so, very bad. I'm fine with no flying cars. Yeah, I actually, I don't think it makes sense to have flying yeah. cars, the more you think about it. Once we get the, the self-driving cars perfect, then maybe we'll talk about flying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if they were all self-driving and like totally perfect, yeah. then then maybe, because then it could just fly itself. Yeah. And then maybe if there's no human error involved. <laughs> you imagine if that is actually like in our lifetime, <laughs> flying cars? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Well. It would start off lame, it'd be like a hovering car that only hovers for a bit. Right. No, I mean like legit. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Like the DeLorean, you know? <laughs> Everyone would be custom making their flying car to look like a DeLorean. <laughs> People would be putting like the flames on the side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I should show you when you go up really high with the rocket pack and then you just like let go. It's actually really funny when you drop it. <laughs> he turns all black and you just see his two eyes. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he's like turns into ashes basically. <laughs> all right, boom. So I don't know. I don't think that was perfect, but it might have been all right. Mm. Oh, was it? Oh, wow. Real cool. <laughs> what? Hey, what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> But I'm gonna need those points, honestly, to get through the next thing because yeah. I'm probably not gonna do as well. The plane is the hardest one. Uh, actually, no. Uh, during the next round, they introduced a hand glider, and hand glider is fucking next to impossible. The one in 64 had a hand glider. I remember that, like, specifically. It's it, it really hard. Unless there's a different game with hand glider, but. This one. Hmm. I, I was pretty impressed. Yesterday, I met um, Mega Bat Friend. Oh yeah, he's cool. But I didn't realize, I kind of made him angry. <laughs> because- That's up his name? I did. It's actually mega underscore bad, bad friend. underscore. Bad underscore friend. Friend, all lowercase. All lowercase, yeah. So. Listen, don't mess up his name, Mapatai. He gets very upset I know, about that. I know. There you go. Boom. Come on, get it right to the line. Get it to the line. Get it to the line. I love that they give you like such an open space. Because they just knew that like a kid would probably screw up. Yeah. She's not uh, totally happy. Yeah. 90. Okay, that's enough though, I think. <laughs> I think we I won't judge by appearance. I was really mean. Like, <laughs> man, the plane. There's a guy, if we get to it, uh, like two more rounds, I think, he actually looks exactly like you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't look like you. He has like, he just has, he has like, he actually looks nothing like you. Oh, um, have you seen the knitted, the people who like make Knitted characters over there. There's like a booth. Yeah, yeah. I passed by really quick. Look at the Riker. They made a knitted Riker. It just looks like me in like a Starfleet uniform. It looks nothing. Is the like, hair too long? Like the hair is a little too long. It's got the beard. I'm like, is this me? <laughs> it looks like me in a Starfleet outfit. That was Lance. He's uh, I don't know who he looks like. I might buy that Riker. You should, you should, buy, I should put buy it on your desk. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this really quick. Just yeah. so you, just so you can I want to see, wanna the, see explosion. the explosion. Yeah. We're gonna look at the explosion. Your favorite is plane. Is the plane? Yeah. The plane is the plane is fun. All these ones are fun. I, I don't like the uh, the hand there, yeah. which that's the next room. So I'm gonna look, watch. Go to high. Go to high. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna like let it go. Here you go. I don't touch it anything. I used to do this for like a long time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it looks like the guy from Dick Duck. He's like instantly charred. He's charred much like the bad guys in this game called Siphon Filter when you hold the taser down for too oh, long. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, um... Have I mentioned Siphon Filter? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, what I want to... So, the people in my chat right now, yeah. have any of you played Siphon Filter? And what do you guys think about it? Yeah. And then we can we can respond about Siphon Good. Filter. I guess I'll try the hand gliding part. Uh, well, that's not until the next round. Oh, okay. I actually, I'm gonna retry the whole thing because I, I love that he's just like, hey, do you want to try again? It's like you just died, <laughs> and he's all like, hey, you okay? You wanna wanna do it again? Oh, uh, oh no, the hand glider is there. I'm yeah. sorry, I didn't see it. Here, you can yeah, go ahead and do it. It's awful. It's the hardest one. Wait, it says hang glider? I've been saying hand glider my entire life until right now. Will you now. hang off of it? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I've always said hand glider too. <laughs> It's one of those things where you're just like, hey, I'm saying it right, and then you look at it, and you're like, oh well, I'm it. Nose down. Right uh, Tatine says I have played Siphon Filter, and it's kind of cool, but clunky. Well, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Klasky says Ro uh, Rocket Belt sounds like a sex toy. <laughs> uh, so you go you go towards that, okay. the, the stuff coming up, and then it'll lift you in the air. Oh. And then you might have to hit it twice. Um, it's hard to get to the right. There. Oh, okay, you hit it. And then we'll see if it says land now. Yeah, okay. Uh, so if you turn around completely, uh, you'll, you'll see on the ground, you'll see the landing pad. I'm but, trying to turn it uh, Not that, but that. Okay. I would... I, yeah, you'll see why it's hard, because you're gonna probably gonna pass it. So I would probably try to circle around a bit more. Oh, okay. What I usually do is go like further out. Gotcha. Yeah. But now, I don't know, maybe it'll make it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't get too far, I'm definitely gonna hit yeah. the ground. Oh, yeah. Ah! And, then, and then right at the end, you you hit A, and then he kind of he gotcha. pops up gotcha. so, he can, so was, you can land. I was wondering what the A was. Yeah. All right, let me retry that. Yeah. 
Yeah, so when it comes to that beginning, just hit retry. Uh, thanks, Cat Crasher. Eat My Steel says, Pilot Wings just is a lame knockoff of the Rocketeer on SNES. That's a great game. Oh, yeah. I like the part where you shoot. The part where you barely fly. <laughs> In Yugi, uh, Hakujo says, I, uh, I played... Or where is that coming? Uh, I've played Siphon Filter. It's okay. I wouldn't mind seeing you stream it. One day I'm going to start that... Uh, I'm gonna start that show, Siphon Filter and Friends. Maybe we should do it, James and Mike, Monday on Siphon Filter. <laughs> um, the guy in the, the guy's voice is like, oh, sounds like a cigarette pack. It does. My God, Siphon Filter. Yes, it's quite remarkable. I played that game. Before. I. Did you know that there was a sequel to Siphon Filter? There's multiple ones. Oh, is there a Siphon Filter? Is there a Siphon Filter Four? Yes, it's called. Uh, what's it called? I have Omega Strain and it's move over a bit. And it's not that good. Oh! Ah! Hold on. Can I pause? Yeah. So, can you get him a chair? Do we have a chair? Okay. An extra chair? Oh. Get him a chair. What? Get a chair? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Okay. Big guest coming in. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna pack this room full here. There All we right. go. So, we're on stream. We're playing Pilot Wings. It's, <laughs> it's up here. Hey! <laughs> I'm out. Um, all right, so this is different. <laughs> yeah, you gotta close it. Close, close uh, that up. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get okay. It. So I'm, I'm on the hang glider. Hi. I'm on the hang glider. Hey, did you know it's called hang glider, not the hand glider? I've been saying hang glider my whole life. Really? I, I, well, I knew it was the hang glider. Did you, <laughs> did you really? There's, like, there's so many things that I get wrong too. So it's like, <laughs> Watch out. Oh man, I'm doing better. We're trying that the hang gliding and it's, it's really hard. Let me try it uh, one more time and then I might pass it off. That saying, uh, I think I think it's old time sake. I used to always I think you pointed out one time. I, I used to say like all time sake. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And then I after I because I never thought about it, but after thinking about it, I'm like, oh yeah, why would that be all time sake? Of course it's old time sake. Because that's but, the that's the yeah, expression. Yeah. My um my girlfriend the other day, she meant to say shooting fish in a barrel. And she went, it's like fishing in a bucket. I'm like, that's not the right expression at all. It might, does it have the same, it might have the same meaning, I guess. It probably does, but it's not the more popular yeah. expression. <laughs> yeah. So James, what do you think of the streaming booth? Isn't this crazy? Yeah, this is very uh, different, yeah. Isn't it's it like, weird that this is open up well, top, but yeah. the sound well, is actually feels, good? <laughs> this feels like the most anti-social thing ever. Because <laughs> we're in the middle of a convention and we're like isolated in this like little booth. Yeah, I, I said um, earlier it's kind of like being in the Pope Mobile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Vinnie Paul. Yeah, really sad. Um, Vinnie Paul passed away uh, yesterday. Uh, 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 I don't have any more information on that yet, but that's very right. sad. Someone else tried. That's of course, while I'm wearing the, the shirt. Uh, 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 yeah, so, so, uh, guy, uh, someone else died recently. The guy who did the titles for the opening titles for Superman and Alien. Oh really? Yeah, that's like yeah. the most epic titles ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a shame. Oh, the original? Yeah, the Superman the movie and the, yeah, the opening titles for Alien. You know what I saw yeah. recently? I don't know if you guys remember the intro to the to HBO where the da na 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 But I saw behind the scenes making of that with like yeah. the town that they made. It's like it's a, it's not very yeah. long. It's like ten minutes, but yeah. it's really really interesting. That's a cool opening. Yeah. All right, I'll try the hand glider. Try to land that. And uh, you like the rocket pack? Yeah, rocket pack. Why well, do you do the rocket pack? Yeah. But let me see if I can make it through this first. Boba Fett the movie, the game. Oh, uh, all, all Star Wars spin-offs are on hold right now. Oh, really? Because of Solo's failure, they're like they're they're putting them on hold. Oh, was it like it didn't make money or? Like... It made money, but not enough. It didn't. It oh, didn't, I, it, I didn't I, know I, that. I'm willing to bet it's because they changed the uh, the release date time. Like May. I think it's I think they spent too much money on it by reshooting the whole movie. Uh, they put way that was I, that, it, the more expensive it is. I think yeah, the more money, initially yeah. they were probably like, oh, this will be a cheap one we can get out of the way, and it ended up being the most expensive. That's one. amazing oh. that that already happened. I thought there'd be a couple more Star Wars movies yeah. before. before that would happen. It's already. It's already happened. Can you imagine, like, 15 years ago, you'd be like, "Oh, that Star Wars movie didn't make enough money." Yeah. You know, that's like unheard of. Before in my that, mind, I know? think Episode Two is the only one that underperformed, and that was years ago. Because uh -huh. you know, you would think Star Wars would yeah. make the most money of any movie. I just don't think there's enough material to make them all feel different. Like Marvel, it's different. Like each superhero has different powers, different enemies. So here or we are talking about Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
You know, actually, I was going to say a funny thing that I think Mike said, actually. You, you mentioned that, like, you've never been excited for a Star Wars movie since Return of the Jedi. Or I think you said it in some kind of words like that. Well, no, and because I was, like, three years old when well, yeah, that came okay. out. Um, no, I think the only time I was excited for a, a Star Wars movie was Phantom Menace. Yes. And then yeah. I saw it, okay. and I was like, what the fuck? That's what I was going to get at, yeah. 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 Why did you think I said Return of the Jedi? I forget how you said it, but, but whatever it means. But that's what you mean, yeah, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, hey. So Justin yeah, Silverman uh, off screen. Well, we'll kick out Tony, and you can go ahead. All right, we're going to bring in Justin. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And, then we'll, and then I'll bring you back in after, because there's not enough room. <laughs> okay, Or, that's fine. You, we want to try to fit him in? Fuck it, stay. Fuck it. Hey, hey, Jay, Justin, where's he? He's talking. He's talking to Camille. I think he's coming in. <laughs> he's going to keep the, on. The fans are waving. Ah. Is, he, is he coming in, or he's not coming in? I think he's coming in, okay. James. You might want to move James, James, move out of the way. Okay. I, think, I think Vinny might be coming in, so... <laughs> I don't think there's enough room. There's enough room. You can sit on Tony's there's lap. There's so much room in here. What are you talking about? There's no room in here. Wave to the, no. wave to the camera. It's one zero. Oh my god, hey guys. Hi guys. Is there room for another chair? Here, what I'll do, I'll, I'll just scoop okay. down. Okay. I'll just watch. Okay. <laughs> All right. That works. All right, so actually, James is up now. He's going to do the rock bat. Have you ever played uh, Pilot Wings? Only 64. Okay. And I think Tony has only Yeah, the I only had the, uh, the okay. 64. So we're gonna get continue and rocket pack. You're up. All right. Uh, been a while since we've done this. So once again, we were talking about Star Wars and that the uh, yeah. solo uh, solo uh, kind of apparently failed. Yep. What did you think? I guess we did the video, but yeah, well, I mean we did the video, but um, are you weren't? I guess you weren't in that one. No, I, well, I was standing. So what's your opinion now? Oh, I thought Solo looked really good and it looked like a dingy Star Wars movie, but the plot and the writing was just so awful. I you could tell when it was reshot. Yeah. I, I wasn't. I wasn't a big fan. I, I, there's a few parts of the movie I liked. I did like the part where they were being kind of sucked into that black hole. I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. And there, there was a few moments here and there. But overall, I really didn't like it. Too yeah, soon. It was six yeah. months. Like six yeah, months. Yeah. It should have been like. A, I think should have been a full year. Yeah. I just don't I, I think. Was, I don't think there's enough variety in Star Wars because you're always going to have good guys shooting stormtroopers, the Empire. Yeah. Like, you really have to make it different. Like, Marvel can be so different each movie. Well, that, like, like I'm actually excited to see Ant-Man and the Wasp because yeah. I know it's going to be so much different than Infinity War. Yeah. What we can do. What we can do. Oh, we don't need to see me. <laughs> we don't need that. Yes, we need to see you. He's, like, pointed out into the convention instead. We should have turned this on. Oh, I should have done that. I've never done that. Let's see if I can turn it around. I'm going to try to turn this around. I don't know what this is. I never even thought of that. Yeah, so so we're we're in the we're in the Mike Matei fish tank. <laughs> and too many games. It's the Pope mobile. Just make sure the wire doesn't get loose. <laughs> I like this poor guy right here. He's just on camera now. <laughs> he knew what he signed up for. He's gonna find out later. He's like, wait, I was in a video with Cinemasker. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can always like some of these or something. I don't wanna. I don't wanna risk it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's good that there's a place for you guys to stream. It's really good, and the booth has been working really good. The internet went out yesterday oh, for a little bit, but yeah. other than that, it's been good. Do you land on Target now? Do you land on Target now? Uh, did it tell you to land? Uh, I blinked. So, no, I, <laughs> or I was like, listen to what? Oh, no, there it is, yeah. There should be a Target. Yep. Is that the Target, or is it more in the middle? I think I think this is the harder one. Yeah. Oh, flip to the other view. Go oh, the other view. Ah, okay. It might help. Oh, you know what? That actually makes me nervous. It makes <laughs> okay, me feel like okay. I'm on the water. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the, I got, you know what? I'm going to try to use both because I can see why because you want to go over the target. But, okay, okay. Oh, oh no. Uh, All right, can I do this? Stay on target. Yeah, stay on target. target. Ah! target. Ah! All right. And they really, like, the mode seven they did in this game was really good. It's it really, was, yeah. Is that Biggs? Who says that? Uh, um, no, it was. Was it Gold Leader? I think it was. Hey, was, hey chat, who says stay on target? It was either Gold Leader or it was Home Base saying that. Ooh, You're so right. close, James. Yeah, I keep overshooting it. Gold Leader, who was awkwardly... No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I like, when Rogue, I like when Rogue One awkwardly chromic oh, yeah. those Get the little one. Uh, no, no, hurry, go no, low. No. I know. Don't get no. nervous. <laughs> stay on target. You do it, you do it. Stay on target. All right. Come on, come on. Oh, oh you overshot. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going for the little one. Going for the little one. Oh, are you making it harder on yourself? No, because I'm near it. I'm... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> no, that's like the uh, Robocop chip pack. <laughs> this is a game that does need a lot of practice. It does. Uh, yeah. Oh, you have the stuff on the screen. Oh no, it's not. It's not, not showing oh, up yeah, on it's, here. It's not there. All right. 
We should have like a light. We'll figure this out better dark? next year. Oh yeah, it's gonna yeah, be dark. It, it is dark. We should have brought a light. Is it on full auto? No, if you do auto, it shows you the display. Uh, I can actually. For some reason, it won't take the display off. I can probably auto. fix it. Bring it up. Yeah. Not that anyone needs to see us. Yeah. I thought I manually made it as bright as I could, unless someone yeah. messed with the settings. Yeah, I mean, it was it's, a little weird. It's, it's not. A, it's fine. Yeah. But that that's cool. It's, that's uh, that helped a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, a guy was saying like, oh, solo, you know, will make three hundred million. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's worldwide, right? Yeah, we're alive, but yeah. then you got to take the theaters. Chain. Yeah, they, yeah. Like, the, the, mind you, three hundred million, but like the theater takes a cut. They have to. Um, they don't include marketing. In the they budgets. have to pay market sale. Yeah, the the marketing that movie might have been three hundred million dollars. Yeah. Um, and Cubs also, they were selling enough tickets. They were reshoots, so the movie cost twice as much. Yeah. Yeah. So, so these big budget movies, they not only have to make their money back, but they have to make more. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because video game companies, or sorry, not video game, movie companies are companies, yeah. so they need to make money, they have shareholders, you know? <laughs> Somebody told me, just uh, probably no more than five minutes before I came into this booth, that that uh, Cream trailer just came out. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, I saw it, it Creed. was pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, like I love the new, I like the, um, I didn't like the first Creed that much, but I think having uh, Drago's son be in it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be cool. It's, a, it's gonna can be I, weird. Can I watch the trailer right now? While you're playing that, I don't have a. I mean, I mean, I, I do. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. If I so did, you, my... do you know the title of it? Uh, cr uh, Creed, Creed two. two. I'm pretty sure Creed two. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's Creed two, but it's it's Creed two, Rocky eight. It's Rocky eight. The <laughs> it's gonna be weird. No, that's... it's Rocky four two. Because they're <laughs> they have Ivan Drago, you know. So it's, anyway, it's weird. Stallone is directing again. I don't know how that's gonna be with him directing. I know he's directed oh, yeah. a bunch of them. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for but, that. But Creed but, uh, was fun because, you know, there, there was a new director who gave you, like, a fresh voice, and now it's Stallone again. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Coogler. And I can't remember the last Creed. good movie Stallone made. Probably Rocky Balboa? Yeah, is it Creed 2, like, Roman numerals, or is it just a number 2? You can't remember a good movie that Stallone did? You just like, that? recently, oh, like, directed. You know what? Listen, what about Bullet to the up. Head? He didn't direct Bullet to the Head. Listen, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone made Demolition Man, and it's all he has to do. <laughs> So this is like a live uh, trailer reaction now yeah. while you're playing violin. You should uh, react yeah. to the ad that's playing. <laughs> react to the ad. Oh, yeah. uh, it's just been passed. She's the one ordering. I'm not going to hear much of this. All right, guys, I'm going to go run a convention. All right. Okay, all right. How good Tessa Thompson's coming back? You get the bottom of it. You guys want any special coke or anything? Uh, oh no, I'm good. Yeah, it's okay. I'll get some coke or something. Is there any uh, like diet? Is there any diet coke? Oh, I'll get some coke. It's amazing that you can stand right out and you can't hear a thing. Really? <laughs> this booth's awesome. I, I really like oh, it. So I just sounded like Kirk Cameron I'm there for a second. By the water. Water? Yeah, we're gonna fill with water. It's like a, so you can find it's, in your aquarium. It's a, a dunk tank. <laughs> yeah, dunk tank. I want to see you do that. I want to throw the apple and have you go into the. Well, you know what you do? We'll do it at we'll do it at Gifford Gamer Charity while we're tank. Can we please? I would go into it. And James is watching the Creed uh, Two trailer. Mike and Daiko. I should have asked him for Wawa coffee. Let's Are see if I can actually do Apollo this. Apollo Creed's two older kids into the mix. He has like two kids in the first two movies. What, are they going to bring back Mr. T next and have him train? Oh man, I would love a Clubber Lang. Yeah, wouldn't, that that be be wouldn't that be awesome? I think I told James when I first met him, they should just do like I want Clubber Lang versus Ivan Drago. Yeah. It'd be awesome if it was the next movie because it would be three. Yeah, they should have done like Creed, Lang, Drago, yeah. Gunn, <laughs> Dixon. Yeah. Big Yak, Big Big Yak Dixon's ball. kid is only six. He's like in the movies about him and like a karate <laughs> What about Big Yank Mickey uh, origin story? Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool, actually. Probably not, actually. What's the photography looks nice? There you go. I mean, it looks decent. Should be fine. It's, it's kind of breezing through. Yeah. I'm assuming uh, Rocky had his role is going to become smaller because uh, yeah, especially if he's behind passing, the camera. Yeah, yeah. and they're as we're you know, passing it on to yeah, you know, Creed. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! In the first movie, did a great job. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That is. Crazy. That's the best I've ever done. It. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Look at this! I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I think he killed that I guy. Have, I have never in my life gotten 100% on that 
I can tell you right there that was a fluke. <laughs> All right, now we can probably now if you can land this rocket belt, we'll definitely even if you get some points on the rocket belt, we'll we'll make it through. So here you go. Okay. One more time with the rocket belt. Spider Rico would wreck them all. Spider Spider, Spider Rico's son. Uh, rocket Belt. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Spider Rico. Rocket Rocket I like that in uh, Rocky Six, like Spider Rico's just working in the kitchen for. Him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that nice. Him in, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah. You know, I didn't like Rocky Six when I first saw it, and then I watched it again recently. Like, you know what? This isn't that bad. You mean Balboa? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was really good. Yeah. I mean. I kind of don't want to see an elderly Rocky boxing, but if uh -huh. you're going to do it, I guess it was fine. Yeah, yeah. I, li I, I like the Balboa yeah. as well. It's kind of like I, I didn't really want to see an elderly uh, Indiana Jones. There's some heroes that I don't mind Isn't seeing he, an older version. So when they start, they haven't even started filming that yet. What? And Indiana, Jones. Indiana Jones, right? Yeah, I don't know what's happening with that. He's going to be, literally, he's going to be 80. I think, uh, last oh, rumor right? I heard, yeah, the last rumor I heard that it's going to be mostly like flashback to him having a younger adventure or something. What? Which would make the most sense. Do you so, want to so see young, it? young Indiana Jones. That's yeah, but it would be like Harrison Ford be like, I remember when this happened or something. I could be wrong though. Can they make Imagine it? Imagine if they got the same actor honestly, so look, well when they just did Honestly, like, a, like. Can they do one that's like a little bit less action packed but interesting? I don't know. Here's the thing I don't think, other than those three movies, like you could probably get a different Indiana Jones, like James Bond. Like there's no like overarching story, they're just different adventures. I feel like you could get another Indiana Jones. Another actor, you mean? Yeah, I mean, it worked with James Bond, it works for Batman. Like, I don't... Like, you have... Harrison the, Ford had ma made some kind of quote at one point that was some, something like, I'm only I wear the fedora or something. Yeah, yeah. And he makes that very clear at the end of Crystal Skull when he takes the fedora back from yeah. Shia yeah, Because that would have been a horrible yeah. continuation. Can, can we just leave, like, one thing alone? Can Harrison Ford just be Indiana Jones? Yes! Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, wow. Good Ooh. work. Isn't that? It's hard. Yeah. I don't, well, here's the real thing. Don't make a new Indiana Jones movie. We're fine. We don't need yeah. one. But if you're going to, I would prefer like a younger dude. Like like Mad Max with uh, Tom Hardy replacing Oh, Mo that Gibson. was good. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's a character like you don't really need. Wait, didn't I do the hand glider? Shouldn't that say 100 no. points? Oh. What? Huh. Did didn't I? I just do the hand glider? Did you hit retry? Oh, you can do it again. Oh my like god. <laughs> you know you bastard. You he did that on purpose. Retry and, uh, no, continue, continue instead of retry. Uh, uh, wait, did I hit retry? He might, he might have hit retry. Uh, What's the chat say? Did he hit retry? Did, yeah, did I hit retry? That's okay. That's okay. I'm I'll do it again. I'm pretty sure I hit continue. I'll get it 100 percent again. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch me just crash it into the ocean. Oh yeah, now. you you oh wait, it says yes. you clicked retry instead of continue, Mike. Oh I did? Yeah. <laughs> I'm blaming James and it's me. <laughs> This is, this is par for the course. That's about like every James and Mike Monday episode. <laughs> I'm like, it was James' fault. And then and I was like, oh, it was my fault. <laughs> Oops. That's why they call, call me motherfucker Mike. You know? Oh, yeah. Explain <laughs> Motherfucker Clarence. Clarence. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. Motherfucker Clarence Mike. What an unfortunate name. <laughs> oh, did you, did you see the last season of Ash vs. Evil Dead? Yeah, I did. I love the one episode yeah. where they uh, they do like a flashback to like his dad's memory. And he's like, "Are you Ashley Johanna Williams' uh, father?" And he's like, "Thanks uh -huh. for the name, Dad." Uh -huh. <laughs> I was just playing uh, Spider-Man Two, like the PS2 like GameCube version. Oh yeah. And do you know that Bruce uh, Campbell actually yeah. does like the narration? He, he does that? the tutorial for the first three games. Yeah. And then they brought him back for Amazing Spider-Man, even though he had nothing to do with that movie. They just liked his tutorials. <laughs> oh, 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 so close. Well, if I get any points, we could probably still do it. Nothing? <laughs> I hit that thing. That... He says rules ignore. You ignore the rules. If I wouldn't have retried. Oh, man. 140. It can't be. Nah, I gotta do it again. This is, this is hard. Well, it is. It's a hard game. It's, yeah. it's a great game, but I think it's a. I tell you what, anybody in the chat have the have the code for the uh, for the for the helicopter? Maybe we can. Yeah, do I want to see this helicopter. If, if you have to get back, if you're you can, you can okay, maybe. Yeah. No, what time is it? It's uh, yeah. You know what? If I get over there now, then I have like an hour before the panel. So okay, I'm gonna get back there because just because I have uh, there's probably a lot of people at my table uh, yeah. waiting to see me right now. So but thanks for coming over. Yeah, this is cool. And uh, 
I think I'm gonna see you soon. We'll be filming. Yeah. yeah. So cool. we'll talk about that later. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, we gotta see uh, Jurassic Park five uh, pretty yeah. soon. The, so, the yeah. Lost Park Jurassic. The, the Lost Park uh, <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Park Jurassic of the Lost <laughs> World. Uh, yeah. We'll see it. Yeah. Let's yeah. try to see it this week. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so. We're, we're gonna skip to the end of the game here. Uh, okay. Guys, which which is the code for the end of the game, not the middle helicopter? I want the end of the code. End of the game code. Oh, wait a minute to get that. Yeah, yeah, there's a lag. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, you can always Google it, too. Yeah. Oh, it says, yes, 882943. Okay, let me see how I can actually even put in the password. I guess I hit Oh, there we go. Okay. It is 882. Okay. So the last thing is different. It's that you're actually flying a helicopter in war. Oh, what? Yeah. Wow, this game took a dark turn. It does, well, you have to pick up, like, uh, you know, you have to pick up hostages. <laughs> no, I'm, like, dead serious. You really do. Because you, this is your training to, like, go. Oh, okay. So it's, like, Full Metal Jacket where the first half is training and then they send you to war. It's ex it, that's, the pilot wings is, like, ex exactly like Full Metal Jacket. Right, right. Yeah. I don't remember any flying in Full Metal Jacket, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, except there's no part where somebody blows their brains out. <laughs> oh, and, wow. It's even, like, But random. there might be on this stream <laughs> if, I, if I can't do this. God! By the way, this is really hard to do. Actually, uh, the thing I'm excited for most in the new Jurassic movie is I saw the trailer. Someone's on a helicopter with the with the ladder, you know, like Batman, like we did earlier, and the T-Rex is like chasing it. Okay. And I'm like, I want to see that. See, I want to see the T-Rex just rip a helicopter out of the sky. When did it come out? Did it come out like last week? Or? It came out like Thursday, but okay. we were we were busy doing this. Yeah. Okay. Right. Like my mom already saw it. She's like, it was okay. I'm like, well, it's as good as you can get for a Jurassic Park yeah. sequel. Well, that's like every mom's answer, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're even shooting? Oh, yeah. Oh, there, no, there's, there's shit. Watch, wait till you see this. So there's going to be, like, this shit in the woods. And it's going to start, like, firing at me. This is, this is, by the way, this is very difficult to do. I, I have done it before, but I'm going to Where is it. this? Vietnam? Where are we? Um, yeah, I think we're in Vietnam. <laughs> Oh shit, here it is, here it is. Okay. And, and the, the hard part is there's... Oh. There, there's ones that are just hidden in the woods, you'll see. Yeah. See, I have to try to take all these out. He's still looking at the window. Do, do you need him? I don't know if he needs you or something. Me? You need me? No, I'll come back. Oh, okay. Get behind. So, so tell Justin about the, the turn this game has taken. Alright, so Justin, it went from being... Uh, hey, here's how you parachute, and now we're in the middle of Vietnam, and we're bombing people from the sky. It took a really dark turn. <laughs> I thought this was like a like a simulator, like a hand gliding simulator. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know which war this is, if it's like Vietnam or... Why does he have like a flashlight on the front? That's because I'm, I'm headed to, uh, oh, it's that, it's that dot in the middle of the radar, so that's where I gotta actually go. I'm trying to think what other game is like... Like Excite Bike, if you're in the end of Excite Bike, you're like driving through a jungle machine gun. It turns into like the <laughs> uh, uh, Last Crusade thing again. Yeah. I'm, oh, oh no! What, by the way, one hit. Oh, uh, now you're KIA. Yeah. Uh, can you eject? There's no eject in the uh, helicopter. They've made helicopters that can eject, they don't. They don't really work. It's actually kind of scary. Like the helicopter has to shoot the blades off and then eject you. Yeah. And I'm like, that would be the most terrifying. Ejecting from a plane sounds terrifying, but ejecting from a helicopter, just trusting that the blades will fall off first. Tony said that he would jump out of a plane with a parachute for slightly over one thousand dollars. Really? Well, so I would have you, to. If you can work up like a thousand five hundred dollars, I think he'll jump out. I think we can yeah. do a Kickstarter. I was gonna say a thousand dollars plus the cost for. Thing. I don't want the cost for the jump to be included in my thousand. That's deducted. Yeah, it's, it's really expensive. So can we write that off tax wise? <laughs> you end up getting like sixty bucks, and then you have to drive home with the gas. <laughs> Basically, you end up with a. Yeah, I can't seat. even think it over. Oh, we're not covering travel. Oh man. Yeah, because we yeah, you have to drive like six hours to get there. Man, I know a dude who like skydives every weekend. He does like the the gliding suit, like the one where you're like a flying squirrel. Well, at least what? the gliding suit, you know, like your shoot's not gonna fail. You can just glide to the ground. What if 
what if we did a Kickstarter <laughs> and we have uh, not you, but we get your cousin Joker fan to jump out of the plane? <laughs> we have to weld the mask to the helmet. <laughs> And maybe even uh, mega underscore bad bat bat underscore friend, friend all lowercase. Uh, bat, mega bad friend, even myself, gravity is our greatest enemy. <laughs> that was a great interview you did with them that's on YouTube now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the funniest part of that video, not only Mike picked up on it, but when uh, Mike says, what is it, a guy with glasses with you? And Joker fan says, oh, I, I, did, I, did. I, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I'm mad my dad's not here. Joker fan's dad actually was at too many games. And it's this older guy who wears all this Joker stuff and has all these Joker tattoos. And I just made him, I found him on Facebook now. He's gonna let me know whenever he's like in the East Coast. And, uh, it's funny how family friendly the N64 pilot movie was compared to this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. You know what this reminds me of? Like, the Strike games, like, Desert oh, that, Strike. I really like Desert Strike, Yeah, there's <laughs> Desert, uh, well, it went Desert Jungle. Strike, Jungle yeah. Strike, Urban Strike, Soviet Strike, Nuclear Strike, and then there's supposed to be, oh, I didn't play um, those. Future Strike, where you, the, where the, the, the helicopter can get robot legs and walk, but it turned into L.A. Police. Are those all on Genesis? <laughs> no, Soviet Strike was PlayStation, so it was Nuclear Strike. Yeah, like, okay. Soviet Strike's my favorite. That's why I didn't game. play, I, I didn't know about those. I only knew about the Genesis ones. Live I heard of Urban Strike, guys. though, is that? Just Genesis. Yes, yeah. Okay. I know all the Genesis. This guy's got a good good advice. Just cut costs by going with a cheaper parachute. That sounds good. <laughs> do that. I'll do it. My only other demand is that the parachute says dinosaur, like in Jurassic Park 3. Right. So I want that. <laughs> is that like a yacht? Is this like a pleasure cruise for you? Uh, <laughs> and is that supposed to be an Apache? It looks awful. Yeah. I was in here yesterday. The chat said something really funny we were laughing at. Uh, we were doing Mario Kart and Bill Billy was in here. And uh, we were we were drawing like food related things a lot, like draw a sandwich, draw like ketchup and stuff like that, just like really like basic. And because um, it's hard to draw a Mario paint. And then we're like, oh, do we have any uh, suggestions from the chat? And like the first like the first suggestion that comes in is was a uh, cubby gummy. <laughs> Which is like I was like, this is the first suggestion. We get. It's like so random. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know those cost taxpayer money, right? Don't just launch them in the fucking ocean. That would be great if, like, the game just gave you how much tax dollar money you wasted by fire misfiring a missile. <laughs> For every missile I fire, Tony's gonna have to take a deduction. <laughs> in pay. In pay. Sorry, Tony. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a million dollars right there. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you got a long Dude. time to pay off. You better start jumping out of those airplanes to pay off the money. I'll hit my friend up and be like, hey, uh, can you just throw me out of the plane? <laughs> yeah. You wanna skydive? No, I'm in a ton of debt, just throw me out of the plane. Yeah, no parachute. <laughs> hey, you're, you're lucky you would survive. You'd hit, like, the water. Did you ever hear the girl who, like, uh, a you, plane, like, exploded? She was the well, only survivor? Yeah, well, well, one, if you fell out of a plane and hit water, even from, like, 100 feet, you'd die. No, there's, there's a- like, concrete. There's a girl, a plane, like, exploded. Oh, no, no, no. So, the plane was crashing and she was like in the fuselage. Yeah. So she kind of like, the plane like glide crashed and she was yeah. just in it. She broke every bone on her body though. Yeah. Like, well, my favorite story of that is like when they asked when she woke up, she danced for a cigarette. <laughs> that was the first thing on her mind. Not hated, I just survived the plane crash. I'm hoping to like hit <laughs> these guys that are hitting me. You're just blowing up like a, like a Vietnamese <laughs> school. Like, <laughs> But don't love the more. Why would it be in the middle of the jungle. woods? <laughs> it wouldn't be in the wood in the jungle. Yeah, they, now you know what I want to talk about. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's, yeah, we're let's, not going to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, so Billy and I were drawing ketchup bottles yesterday. <laughs> oh, you got hit by what? Uh, one of those guys I was trying to hit that's in the woods. Get the straight. Oh, you're gonna. We're gonna give this to you. Yeah, you should try. I'm a helicopter pilot by trade. So. <laughs> Are you? No, I don't. know. Oh, you are playing expert, so I don't know. It's that, yeah. All right, I like to fly as high as possible. So you, you hold A to do that, and okay. you, hold, you hold B to get lower, and then it's these to, to okay. do the rockets. Okay, so there you go. And forward and back. You know. By the way, this is like the hardest thing to do. This is the end of the game. <laughs> so I just gave I can it. just give him this. Basically. 
Actually, I like the graphics. Like, those blades aren't spinning. It's just a picture flashing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that actually totally worked. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's probably it's two frames. Yeah, it's just a picture strobing. I'm like, ah, oh, that's actually kind of clever. The problem is I gotta use my like gyroscope thing on the left there to find out how it's actually going down. Who knows we're just gonna outrun bullets. Good luck. You're not gonna be able to once you get to the landing pad. So that's what you're trying to do, by the way. You, uh, you're trying to like save the uh, hostages. And when you get when you get to the middle, there's gonna be a landing pad that you're gonna have to land on, and you're not gonna be able to do it unless you take out all the, the turrets. So at that point, you, maybe you could like run by these guys, but once you get there, you're gonna have to actually. Oh! oh! Wow, they they snuck that one. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. I'll be back in the mission. <laughs> I like how they show the <laughs> they show the the altitude on the side. What an asshole. When you get really low. Wait, Justin, you have an appropriate tattoo for this part of the game. Oh, what, my, I wanted my Starship Trooper set, Yeah, death, death from death above. From above. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I, like, I have a Half-Life one. <laughs> Imagine liking Starship Troopers that much. <laughs> it is a good movie. I like this. This is awesome. Right? <laughs> so, like, for Super Nintendo. The, the way, evil syndicate. syndicate has grown. Government VIP that opposed them. Yeah, like they couldn't translate president or like just take over VIP. <laughs> By the way, uh, this was uh, a Miyamoto, like he came up with it. Oh, really? This is an F Zero. <laughs> obviously, Mario and Zelda, obviously. Yeah. He actually did a game too called Mo Mole Mania on, on Game Boy. It's weird when it's like actually a Miyamoto. So, F Zero, that's with Mr. Falcon? I was playing F Zero too. Oh, no, Captain Falcon. I like Mr. Falcon. Wait, Mr. Mr. Falcon just bothers me. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta leave. No, no, no. Mr. Falcon is the TV edit for Die Hard 2. Instead of yippee ki motherfucker, he says yippee ki Mr. Falcon. Yeah, and so Justin's going for the low approach here, I say. If they can't hit me. That, that's just gonna get, make it... Oh, they're pissed! They're so <laughs> mad! Because They're lower. so mad. Here, should I try? No, I am a helicopter pilot. <laughs> Justin wants to do this really badly, I can tell. They don't have any questions for. I like all the Klingon emojis, by the way. That's Gowron. Oh, yeah, they're a bunch of talks. <laughs> Do you know? So there is a Klingon language school in Philly. I don't know if it's still open. Oh, really? But I I really like to go there because you can you can learn. Oh, trust me. Songs. Oh, I'd love to learn some. Yeah, like this Klingon. Did you ever hear it? Did you, yeah. Did you ever hear the? Uh, there was that game like for PC, PC I think. And you, like, the actor who just Gowron. Like, oh yeah. In it. And uh, yeah, Star Trek Klingon. Yeah. You also made the board game. I played those are great. But, well, you watch on YouTube now because they're so upsetting. Yeah, exactly. And there's actually like they they have like parts that are like live action on screen. There was also a game called uh, Starfleet Academy, and it was actually Shatner's last appearance for real. I don't know. Her. But anyway, the, uh, uh, the 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 Klingon one. They actually have songs in it. I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah someone did a review. It's on really that. funny. Um, did you ever see the episode of Frasier where he speaks Klingon? Well, Frasier appeared on an episode of Next Gen. Yeah. yeah well, so. there's there's an episode of Frasier where yeah. um, his son's having like a bar mitzvah and he wants to speak Hebrew when he doesn't know how to, so he gets this nerdy guy to teach him. But he pisses off the nerdy guy, so the guy, nerdy guy teaches him how to say anything Klingon and he has no idea. So he's at the kid's bar mitzvah and he starts screaming Klingon. <laughs> John Tesh was the Klingon. Uh, Kelsey Grammer yeah. was an ab. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. In uh, Cause and Effect, I think it was. Oh, oh. God. These guys are like locked on. Frasier episode is epic. I remember that episode of Frasier. I don't know why. I really like Frasier, but I don't know why that episode I was. What, what is it? Toss salad and scrambled eggs? Toss salad and scrambled eggs. Yeah. Oh, and again. I like that show way better than Cheers. Yeah, it's so much better than Cheers. Just like Family Ties at all? Mm, it was okay. Mm. Not a huge fan. Which one's Family Ties again? With Michael J. Fox. Yeah. Nah, I never watched that one. Yeah. You're like, I wasn't alive then. I watched Spin City. He was in Spin City with the yeah, uh, yeah. Harper. I like Charles in Charge. I like um, Nikki, uh, Growing Pains. Uh, Nicole Eggert. Yeah. Can't have Frasier without Cheers. I know, but Frasier's better. Didn't it? You can't have Frasier without Cheers. Wasn't Shut Nicole Eggert, Eggert that got naked in the Steven Seagal? Under siege? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, like, the, that the, is by far my favorite. Part I, of I think I think that was the first pair of boobs I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens to be like the girl from Charles in Charge. Yeah, yeah. You can thank Charles in Charge for your first pair of boobs. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. I can thank Stephen Seagal himself. Yes. 
Seriously. You know what I should have brought? I should have brought my Seagal SNES 45 game. should have played that. <laughs> Alright, let's get Hey guys, I'm in, I'm in New York. Can I come and say hi? So we're not in New York. This is, uh, we're in Pennsylvania. I mean, it's I mean, not too far. May, maybe you can make it if you can get here. Yeah, yeah like today's kind of a short day. You're probably not going to see much. Yeah, what time is this close today? Five. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go do my rounds. Yeah. All right. Here, Thanks for coming in. I want to make this experience more lifelike for you. Oh, no. <laughs> Shake the chair. That's how they did the... And when you die, I'm gonna knock you out. That's how they did the effects in Star Trek. They just... Yeah. Up. Oh! oh. Back. Whoa. Look at him go! Look at him! Back, back, back! Back! Watch Tony do this. Oh! Oh! oh. Yo, there's no way they would hit you if you could strafe. I don't know why you can. Don't even go for those guys. Go for the target. Oh, no. Oh. Faster, get out of there. He's doing good. That's it. No, oh. no! <laughs> Go for the dot. Go for the dot. Oh no. Turn to the left. Turn to the left. Oh no. Keep turning left. Oh, 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 oh no. no. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, by the way, they're shooting cheese. That's it. Oh no. They're, shoot, they're shooting like the cheese balls at you, by the way. Yeah. I keep like just miss. Oh my god. Turn, turn to the right a little bit. Huh. Okay, it's like it's gonna be right in front of you. But you're, you're gonna they're, they're gonna be like in the woods, so like they're gonna be attack shooting. Attack both things. Yeah, attack shoot. everything. Just keep shooting. Just go on a bombing run. They're, they're gonna be under you. Back up. Back the fuck up. Just start just shooting into the woods. See? They're coming. Over here. Oh! oh! How, did, how, you how did the really guys in the well. woods have the same bullets as the triple A guns? The one thing you might have to do uh, is practice going up and down, because because when you yeah. when you land, all right, even I'm, if you do all that, then you have to land it. I'm gonna try that. So B yeah. is to go down, right? Yeah. All right, now now I'm angry. Yeah. <laughs> you might even be able to land back on the ship, so you might want to just go up a little bit and land right. back on, just so you can test, you know, there's know there's how to do no it. There's no time limit. There's no time limit on that. I don't think so. At least. Toss salad and scrambled eggs. Did that actually mean like what I think it means? I have no idea what Kelsey Grammer is like, oh. Maybe we shouldn't go on that subject. <laughs> Kelsey Grammer was a. Uh, ah. Okay, that's it. Now you know how to do it. Oh, I okay. just wanted you to know. Nice ladder, by the way. Good graphics. <laughs> Kelsey Grammer was a great beast in X Men 3. One of the only really good things about that movie. <laughs> I forgot he was. Have you ever seen Wet Hot American Summer? Yes. He and I, that, he was really good at Have that. you watched the, the show? Uh, I didn't finish it, but I, wa I watched like several episodes. I really uh, actually want to finish it. First day of camp and then last day of camp. Yeah. Yeah, that show was great. Yeah, really I like Wet Hot American, Hot American Summer. I did too. It's so bizarre, but it's kind of funny. I, I like my William Black. The, um, the behind the scenes for that movie is great. Like, there's a little documentary about them making it. Like, they were supposed to shoot all these outdoor scenes, and it rained for, like, three weeks. <laughs> so there's a lot of shots where, like, above the camera, they got, like, boards blocking out the rain. <laughs> Try one more time. I think I might head back to the table. Okay. Just so uh, the one guy's not stuck there. You, you, can, you can go. Yeah, I think I. No, I, I want to watch right. one more. All time. right, one more. One more. Jungle Strike would be right up Mike's alley. Uh, I used to play a good amount of Desert Strike, and I actually would like to do a stream of it. I'm not good at it, but uh, I really used to enjoy it. We got to um, 
We gotta do one final Friday the 13th stream since they're not gonna release anything else for that okay. game. I'll do that. Because they uh, they added these single player missions where you basically have to recreate a scene from like the movie or whatever. So you have to like wait for someone to get to one area. And have you them. still been playing it? Yeah, well I started playing again because they released these missions. I'm like, this is awesome. And then that lawsuit happened. What level did you ever get up to? Oh, I forgot. I'm still in the 60s. Isn't it amazing those kids that played like the first yeah. weekend and yeah. they got There's like higher than you saw? You've been playing for like a year. <laughs> Did that game um, come out, out over a year ago now? Yeah, yeah. Wow. But, um, yeah, That's so the, the writer of the first movie, he's trying to get ownership over the franchise and suing them. So until there's a court decision, the J Jason X can't be released, the Spaceship map can't be released, they can't make a new movie, they can't do anything. Oh my god. The, the only thing they're allowed to do is, like, fix the bugs in the game and that's it. But the single player missions are a lot of fun, so I think you might like them. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do those. Yeah. Did they ever add anything more, like, other, like, they, objectives? Well, no, that's what I'm saying, the single player missions, they, like, you, you have different ways to kill people, you gotta, like, score points. Okay. So it's like, you gotta lure a guy to a wood chipper and throw him into a wood chipper. Okay, it's sorry, cool. sorry if I missed that, I, I'm, like, trying to, like, <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. They added part 5 Jason, who's not really Jason, which is kind of funny. I remember we saw, like, the whole, like, uh, part four, it was Corey Feldman, but they had already added that, like... <laughs> is, did they ever, is Crispin Glover in there yet? No. <laughs> that would be great if he was. Well, now he couldn't even if he wanted. Isn't there a story with that where, like, he was doing the dancing, but then they put different music on it? Yeah, yeah, so he's dancing to completely different music, and yeah. that's why he doesn't match up at all. So everybody used to, like, make fun of that, but, like, it's actually, like, not his fault, yeah. you know? I mean, it's still goofy dancing, right. but... Yeah, it, but it would it make at a least, more sense. It at least would have been in rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have seen Clowny Clown Clown? The I have you've told me about it, I haven't you seen it. You should watch that. I've seen his Letterman interviews. Oh, yeah. I've had friends who met him. Oh, really? And like, he screens his own private movies at conventions, but he won't like distribute them. And then, apparently, he's so really bizarre. Yeah, I have. See, now you're doing really well. I hope I, hope I do this. Yeah. By the way, they're on the other side. Like, they could be over on that side, too. So. Yeah. It'd be cool if I did this right now. I put Clowny Clown Clown on for my very confused way. <laughs> One guy like pop up in the woods or something. That I didn't <laughs> Do you have to land on the pad or you land anywhere? Yeah, you have to land on the pad. Oh, okay. I just looks like fucking up. Oh, okay. I almost just fucked the whole thing up right there. Oh, oh you, you can land a little bit. Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, good. It's not one of those like out of bounds. This is kind of hard. I don't know if they can hear that. Someone's banging drums like crazy. I, I think I did it. Oh my god. Yeah! There we go. Just barely. Alright. Oh my god, here it is. <laughs> Look at this. This is the end of the game. <laughs> Look at how they're just like... <laughs> Look at those oh, yeah. yeah, guys, just take your time. Take your time. <laughs> People do like, in this convention, people do like the sprite art and all that. Yeah. Somebody should do like those little guys. Yeah. It'd be so, so obscure. Someone had a crazy ass costume yesterday where you have to look at it like out of perspective and yeah. it looks just like the sprite like monster. By the way, he was the one I was saying it's to you. You've done a simple, uh, simply magnificent job as a reward for your second report. Report items. Oh, that's great. All right, guys, that is Pilot Wings, right. and uh, I'm going to break this uh, for now, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to do another stream from here, but I'm going to take a break since, you know, we just beat the game. Yeah. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and if nothing else, I'll probably see you later today. Oh, there's the ending. I'm going to have to watch the ending. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll All see right, I'm going to run back to the table. All right, thanks. I'll see you there. Bye, guys. Thanks.
somebody's playing uh, drums right behind me really loud. I'm just gonna let this ending play out. I got crazy stuff going on behind me. Koji Kondo. <laughs> Quiet Mercenary says I thought the drums were part of the game. And there's the salute. And I salute to you guys. Thanks for watching.